collapse take place? And why does it occur at free fall speed? As I saw the uh, collapse of World Trade Center 7, I realized this was something that needed to be studied and could not be ignored. Building 7 and the Twin Towers share one utterly bewildering similarity. The presence of molten metal found in the debris of all three buildings weeks after the collapse. Is this uh, molten metal that we have now studied at length uh, that came from these buildings and existed then in pools underneath the rubble of all three skyscrapers, both towers and Building 7. A metallographic analysis was conducted by a specialized institute that examined the structure of a girder taken from ground zero. When these girders were extracted from under the rubble, it seems as if parts of them had melted. This is totally inexplicable because the temperatures reached by the fires could only have been 800 degrees at the most. To melt a steel girder, you have to reach temperatures of around 1600 degrees. How could this be? At a microscopic level, if you examine the granular structure of the steel, one can detect the presence of an element that should not normally be present, and it is there in substantial quantities. It is sulfur. We're quite sure now where this molten metal came from. It comes from a material called thermate, which is aluminum powder, iron oxide, and sulfur. The temperature is so high that steel melts. It could only melt if the temperature reached over 1,000 degrees in a few seconds. The use of thermite could certainly have caused the fusion apparent in the steel beams. You see, the presence of thermite now in these buildings to bring them down implies that someone had to place the thermite near the steel columns in order to cut through the columns. I have interviewed a, a demolition expert and he said this is what they do. They set explosives. They, they can use radio control to initiate the firing of the explosives. They have to be done in a sequence in order to get the building to come down rapidly and straight down, a yeah, controlled demolition. Scientists, we look at different hypotheses, different explanations. But then we have to look at all the data to see which explanation fits the best. You have to incorporate all the picture. Yes, yes, you may take an isolated fact like the plume and say, well, perhaps that was a high air pressure that somehow blew a window out. But that will not account for the molten metal or the sulfidation or the molten pools. When the t South Tower collapsed and blew into my apartment directly across from the World Trade Center, I saved the dust, I gave it to Stephen Jones. The dust that was provided by Mrs. McKinley is very interesting because it's like a snapshot of the residue being produced by the tower during its collapse. It's perfect. Now we look in the dust and we see metal droplets. And when I saw that, I thought, whoa. This is what I expect from thermite because I've done a number of thermite experiments and you get small metal drops being s thrown out in all directions. And, and this is what we see in the dust now, these little metal drops. We also see barium. This is very interesting because barium nitrate and sulfur are part of the military patent on what is known as thermate. This is thermite with sulfur and barium 
nitrate added to make this material cut more rapidly through steel. Now barium is a very toxic metal, so one would not ordinarily expect this to be present in the large concentrations that we see. Well, the fact that we see it in these and in the dust is uh, a very strong indication to me that uh, the military form of uh, thermite that has been used. It turned out that literally dozens of firefighters and emergency medical workers had given testimony that they had heard one, two, three, seven, eight, some said ten explosions going off in the building. Some of the people in the buildings reported that they were banged around and knocked downstairs by explosions. Um, other people testimony, uh, testified to seeing flashes. And many of them said, it looked just like on TV when we see them bring down buildings with explosions. We saw the flashes, we saw the demolition rings, we heard the sounds. I worked there for 20 years and I was a janitor, the person that cleaned all the floors. The building has six up levels of basement. The support companies for the cleaning of the World Trade Center was, were located on Big One. While I was there at 846, all of a sudden we hear boom, an explosion so hard that pushes us up. When I went to verbalize it, uh, like six seconds after, we hear that boom, that impact all the way on the top. So two different events, and at that very moment when I, when I said, oh my God, a guy comes running into the office, and uh, <coughs> this guy had his hands extended, both arms like this, and his skin was pulled totally from both arms and it was hanging from the top of the fingertips like it was clothing. And I thought at that time that it was clothing. And when I went to say something, I realized, I look at his face, I realized that he had missing parts of his face. He had, on that particular day, the only master key. He went up with the master key, unlocking door after door so firemen could get in. And he himself, I think he said, brought out 15 or 20 people. So I started opening the doors of the stairwells so people could escape. Willie was made a hero, and he was at the White House. And we have a picture of that, of George Bush honoring Willie Rodriguez for being a hero. We hear boom, 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 different explosions. And I asked the fire department, he said, what is this explosion? And what they said was, maybe it's the gas tank from the kitchen. No, the kitchens were all electrical. But that didn't make any sense. I heard a loud explosion, an explosion that I had never heard in my whole life, an enormous explosion. My ears were hearing loud explosions at ground level, very mysterious. Explosions that seemed to be at ground level as opposed to high in the air. There's no question in my mind that those buildings, based on the law of physics, could not have collapsed without the assistance of a bomb. No! When I hear another explosion, no! I think it's a bomb. Willie has taken the really 180% turn of events, saying here this that President Bush, who had honored him being a hero, he's now, he's named on this lawsuit as accusing Bush and Cheney and Senior Bush and others of murder. And he's not doing it for any monetary gain because this has just cost us everything. Now. Willie has was, um, lost his home, lost his job. Right now, he's, um, his goal is to find out the truth. According to the official story of the 11th of September, at 9.37 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. 
this ref.